Okay. In this video, um, I'm going to talk about the filtering of the oil. This is um, probably the most straightforward, easy to understand, but absolutely necessary part of the whole oil operation. Uh, once you convert your car to run on straight vegetable oil, or your truck, or what have you, you really need to filter the oil. Um, you don't, no, you don't want any floating french fries going into your engine, it just won't work. Um, the aperture on your typical injector is 150 microns, um, so it's, it's a good idea to filter the oil. There's a fuel filter that comes with, at least with my kit, and it's uh, typically to 10 microns, the graded which it's filtered at. These are filter bags, you can get these online, um, usually in sets of 50 or 100, and they're very inexpensive, they're only uh, 2 or $3, and those are for the, uh, the higher grade ones. Uh, these are, uh, this is a 10 micron filter bag, there's actually two of them, one inside the other. I'm trying to burn through them because I'm uh, going to switch to one micron because uh, it flows so quickly that there's no point uh, not trying to go for a, a finer grade. Uh, these filter bags will hold quite a lot of oil inside. So when you use, your, use it inside your filter setup, um, you may as well make it gravity fed. So over here is my setup. <coughs> I have a small workbench and inside I have uh, identical filter bags as these put in place. As you can see it's discolored a bit because it's, uh, it's been used to filter oil. When you get your oil in your pails from your restaurant, pour it into the top, into the large funnel, nice big target. You will want as big a target as possible because drips will happen. It's uh, inevitable. Uh, as you can see here, the newsprint uh, has been discolored a bit as uh, the oil drips out. Also, I, I slip in a little bit of newsprint here because I don't like cleaning up my workspace very often and I'm lazy. So when I pour the oil in, and I take it out, drips will be caught on the newsprint there. As you can see, I'm wearing uh, kitchen gloves. Uh, these will become your friend. Uh, Vegetable oil isn't toxic, um, it can wash off fairly easily with soap, but uh, the smell does kind of linger around a little bit. Um, these gloves will help keep your hands clean and free of smell. What I used to filter with is um, a pair of jeans from the uh, second-hand store, um, Goodwill store, uh, Salvation Army. But as it turned out, the uh, second-hand jeans are actually more expensive than these, uh, these spec filter bags. And on top of that, they would clog up much quicker and the flow would be much slower, slowing down my entire filtering process. So now I don't use them anymore. I double up my filter bags and I dispose of the filter bags as I need to. Usually these filter bags will last about uh, 100 to 200 liters.